Folks, we've been on the road again to the Port Orange Thrift and Vintage Boutique. Thought you might want to see what we got right here on my take on Home and Garden. Cute little shop, guys. You got to come and meet these people. They're just wonderful. And you're going to see the prices here are just what the store says, thrift for vintage goodies. Right away, you step in and uh, look at this, $4 for this set. You're kidding. And look at the pink depression glass. Whole sets, sherbets, salad bowls, plates. Incredible price. Set of six, okay? Seven dollars. You're looking at it. We got the haul at the end. We did good here. Real nice. Look at this stuff. And yes, sir, our Westmoreland duck covered dish. That, I don't know how that didn't go home. Ten bucks. <laughs> you did need to replace the little glass eyes, but they're available. Here you go again, Fenton Bell and some other milk glass. Not sure by who, but there's whole sets. Three, four different kinds. I really like this shell dish. The nut dish or put it on your dresser. Here it is. Three dollars, guys. Are you kidding? told him right away I said man I love your prices the owner said that's that's right that's why we're we're a real thrift shop like it says two bucks for that cute tin we have a couple of them and I should have got it <laughs> you know our fish serving dishes here's three more of that big you know like a salmon look at the red I just needed a shopping cart Two bucks for that vase. Look at this for fall. $12 set teapots. I go back to it. And look at here is Wexford. And I have never seen it in this color. Look at that cream and sugar. And then another set in the blue, light blue. Here's a, some pieces in this picture and bowl. The bed stand pot look at this in the carnival glass I think the price is coming up it was ridiculously reasonable four bucks for that big dish look at these dollar two dollars carnival glass five for the double candlestick. There's some caramel and there's some amber. She said they just got shopped over, picked over pretty, pretty hard here this weekend. And there was some spaces, so they they have a good turnover, obviously, because of their prices. Vintage jewelry. Here's the little office, a whole cabinet of goodies, vintage postcards, collectible coins, and bills. Wenwa balls, if you need some Wenwa balls. And look at the prices on that occupied Japan pieces. There's two missing because they went out the door with Jeff's buy that we're going to show you at the end. <laughs> oh. Summer hats for the ladies in purses. Clutch, I guess you call that a clutch, them little handbags. Now, oh, beautiful porcelain. There's three pieces in here. 
35 a whack. Real pretty, real tempting, I'll, I'll tell you, those three. Not bad. And some kitchen utensils. Some mid-century modern in this room. Little appliances if you're something happened and you need to replace it. So reasonable, things that work. All kinds of little sets. Cobalt blue, there's some oven crackery. For your French onion soup. Boy, I love that. And look at this beautiful serving tray. That could have came home. On sterling, 20 bucks. Love the shape. That relish tray. Lots of vintage, mid-century. You might be missing that one Donald Duck glass. <laughs> and look, here's some French. Arco Rock bowl like I picked up. I think this is better than what I got it for. Crystal, French crystal. Look at the gorgeous. Too. If you're into the Pyrex, I know some of you. Love the bird picture here. That could have came home. Angela's shaking her head, throwing her hands up in the air. <laughs> you see, I get yelled at if I don't bring something home. So it's just the opposite of most of you out there. <laughs> now, I love these crocs. I'll tell you, if I didn't have cameras and tripods and everything else and then trying to pick up a few goodies I had no arms left where do you hear the prices look at this Gin little ginger jar for three jewelry look at these seven dollars guys each I like both of them look at the Waterford crystal case guys Oh boy, everybody's going to get after me for this one. Angela said, You didn't bring those home. <laughs> Look how gorgeous. Uh, we know who collects the Waterford. It is precious. From Ireland. These vases should have come home. $15 a piece. What? Oh my goodness. I might have to go back. Antiquish. <laughs> you know, I'm going to stop at the little trains. Love the trains and cars. Someday we'll get at my car collection. Model car. Real cute mantel clocks, you can't believe. Fifteen, ten dollars. Look at this. Works with chimes, fifteen dollars. Where are you gonna go, folks? This is cute. I think that's Empire style. Ten dollars. There's early American. Lots of little lamps, desk lamp, table lamp. There's some mid-century coffee and tea. Some porcelain. All kinds of stuff here. Lots of crystal coming up too. More candlesticks. Covered dishes. That's cute with the swan. Two of them. 
Man, I don't know how I didn't grab one. Look at the prices, guys. Three bucks, one dollar. Five, there's a set of stuff. They're cut glass. Here's your vintage goodies. I see Whitehall. That aluminum is rarely dated. EAPG, pressed glass. And I can't believe that vintage vase right there we have. Gotta share the bargains and the deals. Now, this is the cutest little thrift shop, guys, and I could not believe the prices. I even talked to the girl behind the counter and then the owner was there too. She said, yeah, it's, it's exactly what the sign says. It's a thrift shop, so we have thrift prices. She says, she keeps her prices really low. <laughs> My head was spinning when I got through here. So I went shopping and then I filmed the shop after I get permission. So just tickled to share this shopping trip and this haul. If you're watching the haul, I know you watched the shopping trip. So here we go. This cute vinegar cruet molded glass Okay, it's in the Greek key pattern around the bottom. Nice weight to it. Elegant crystal top. You can tell the stopper came with it and it fits exact. Really good. Don't be mad. And you other folks with the vinegar crew it fetish or <laughs> collection like we have I think this makes 78 two dollars <laughs> guys you have to get out and you have to go and you have to be there and you have to look look at this now normally you know I'm lucky to get three of these a year so we <laughs> We got maybe six this year. This will be 78. It's a wonderful EAPG piece with the matching. The little mini diamond pattern is on the top as well. Oh, it's just wonderful. You know what? Now that I'm feeling the bottom, this is a hand-blown piece because it was broke off the the work you know the workers stick when he was done just loving it guys especially at three dollars <laughs> I mean <laughs> you can't make this stuff up all you regular folks you know our collections and I'm trying to show you how we built these collections. Most of them are over 50 years of collecting. I mean, any collector will tell you they have their time frame too. I started early, early, early on because my mother was so interested in it as well. You know, we got the beautiful amber glass out for fall because it just fits, right? It just goes, that color. And I know some of you folks that gave it away or let it go. <laughs> I might have just picked up this piece you let go. Look at this beaut. It's a rosebud vase or it is a votive. You know, it's, a little, it's big for a votive candle, but it can be just superb guys now it mimics 
cut glass, but I believe it's really probably EAPG. That's Early American Pattern Glass. Some people will say Early American Pressed Glass. And I'll never argue with them on that because it is what we're talking about, what we call sandwich glass. We're like, an, like a waffle iron. This was put over a mold, poured in a mold, and the, the mold would come together like a waffle iron to create this. Technically, it's pattern glass. But pressed glass, it's saying the same thing, and that's exactly what it is, and that's what we're talking about. Just staggering beauty, and you know this went right on the shelf. You're going to see it in our kitchen, decorate with me. I think it might even be before this. I can't keep track of it all. Three dollars, guys, for this butte. Now we can go to the little, just darling, exquisite little candy dish. It could be a powder, even for you ladies. It could be a cufflink holder. It's just incredible. Let me tell you why I love it so much. The rib design, we're coming out of Art Deco here. I have a bigger one. It's a lot like this. You might have seen it. We'll see it again. But it's about, this is probably three and a half inch. And the other one I have in this style is probably eight inch. Okay. It's a low candy dish or nut dish like this. Completely exquisite. Pattern on the bottom like they always did because they cared. Nice and beefy. We got the cutest mid-century modern. It's got several names to tell it apart. This is a ball pitcher and I just crazy but it's the first one we've ever had. I've been dying for one of these. <laughs> it's a ball pitch pitcher by Anchor Hocking. Okay probably the 60s like I say. It's in the Manhattan style, I'm sure of it, the pattern. You can't believe how wonderful this shop is and they keep their prices down. And she says she does a big turnover. So because of it, now you're just not even going to believe this. Okay, five dollars. Where are you going to go, guys, for beautiful, for thrift price? <laughs> right here. I'm nuts about it. We have a couple pictures. You know, we're starting to pick up for summer, for tea, for lemonade. They're just cute as can be. I mean, are you kidding? Have this on your sum summer table with lemons? Alrighty, next. You're not going to believe it. You know how I talk. The baskets keep coming. You can't just do this. It's impossible. I don't worry about glass baskets. Look at this butte. Look at its beautiful, different form. And it's just staggering. And I'm sure it's crystal. Okay, it's very heavy. It's in a modern pyramidal shape basket. Okay, what do we got? We got pattern on the bottom. I have not looked this up. It's the with the applied handle. 
you're going to say I'm full of baloney or something like that. <laughs> Guys, don't throw stuff at the TV now. Get off the couch. <laughs> Get out to your local flea antique mall and have a blast. Okay? Five dollars. <laughs> it's hard to believe today. Also, you've seen, you regulars, you've seen in uh, on the shelves uh, when I had the Oriental out, I think it was last fall, I put the Oriental up for fall and we had a lot of the mud men. Angela will pull it up for us, I'm sure. She's so good at it. Just nuts about them. This is a good size one too. If you recall, the clay is left unpainted for the skin that shows, okay? The face, arms, and the bottom. You can see the raw clay color. This will help you know it's a proper mud man, okay? These can get quite pricey if you look online. You look them up. I was happy to add him to our Mudman collection that we'll see again after Christmas. Especially, guys, at five dollars. Yeah, I had to make sure I was. There was three things for five dollars. Try to find them. For that price. Hello. <laughs> Fantastic. Now this was another surprise. In a couple of videos I talked about the little porcelain Japanese figures. They were made and targeted for little kids and people that didn't have a lot of money. And these two, why they're so great to me. First of all, it's a pair. It's a boy and a girl. Love it, love it, love it. And they're occupied Japan, stamped on the bottom. So we know that song. You've heard me say it before. Right after they surrendered during the World War II. So that's 1946, somewhere in there. Both of them say Occupy Japan, and I'm just thrilled, tickled to put these with our collection of Japanese porcelain from that era. I asked her for a, a deal. She was sweet enough to give me one. Both for five dollars. <laughs> Frankly they were already reasonable but I just wanted to see how she worked and I wasn't going to bust her down or be rude. So love, love that. Now guys, you got to remember if you're over in Port Orange, Florida, go see the nice people at the vintage, the thrift vintage boutique right there in Port Orange. Just Google it, you'll be right there. Your hair will stand on end at the prices. They're so good. Nice, extra nice folks. Unbelievable prices. You're seeing them right here. You think I'll go there again? <laughs> on a rail. In fact, I'll beat you there. <laughs> I'll beat you getting there. <laughs> now folks, if you liked our video today at all, please let me say hello to some of our friends. Okay? Martha Delgado, 
You thought I forgot you, Martha. No way. I know you're chomping at the bit to get on here and have your beautiful name heard. So we're not going to forget you. Can't forget one of our friends from Australia, Barbara Goss. Hello, Barbara. Thanks for coming by. And Linda Washbrook. Hi, Linda. She's been a doll. Just great comments, little his historic pieces. Just thrilled. Christine Ribone. Hello, Christine and Liani Taylor. What a cutie. <laughs> she calls me Jeffy. <laughs> Nobody's called me that except my aunt and my grandma. <laughs> She's a riot, so don't spread that one around. <laughs> oh boy, I shouldn't have even have said that. Morgana Turcotte, okay? And Margot Koopmans. Thanks, ladies, for coming by. And you know where to go for fun. Your local thrift, antique, and flea and get those buys. If you see something that's a buy, tell them you're here to save money and you're a collector crazy like us. <laughs> Blessings folks and we'll see you in the next over the top collector video. No, Angela, don't leave, leave it running when I'm turning the cameras off and putting my face right up to the camera anymore.